Hello students, today we are going to start your first chapter which is real numbers. Numbers are everywhere. So, here I am going to introduce you one activity. What comes in your mind first whenever you are listening this word numbers? Okay, in my case if I am doing the same, I am having a visual representation of numbers by number lines. We can indicate numbers using number lines. Let's do so. Here I am showing you one number lines presenting on it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. On this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. As you know 0 is neither positive nor negative. From 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on you can say all the numbers as positive integers. From minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on we can indicate as negative integer. If I am adding 0 with the, along with the positive integers we can say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on all the numbers are whole numbers. So in this chapter further we are going to discuss about properties of positive integers. Here I am taking two integers, one is 17, another one is 5. I am going to divide 17 by 5, let us do so. 17 divide by 5, 5 3 is a 15, here it comes 2. If I am going to, if I am trying to write the 17 divide by 5 in another way, I can write 17 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 plus 2. Here, 17 we can say as device tent, 5 is divisor, 3 quotient and 2 remainder. Again I am going to rewrite this 17 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 plus 2. In another way I can write like dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. So this is nothing but your Euclid's division lemma which is the very first topic from your first chapter. So now the question arises that what is lemma? So lemma is nothing but it is already proven statement and it can be used to prove, prove another. Lemma kuch nahi hai, lemma's statement hote hai, aise statement ki jo already mathematically proven hote hai aur jo hum dusre statement ko prove karne ke liye use kar sakte hai. So, if we are going to write this Euclid's division lemma as a sen sentence, we can write like this. For given positive integers a and b, two, exist, two integers exist p and q, q and r satisfied the equation a is equal to bq plus r, where r is always greater or equal to 0 but less than of b. So here let us take example, here I am taking two integers 23 and 5, always consider bigger integer as a and smaller as b. So here a is equal to 23 and b is equal to 5, let us divide this 23 divided by 5, 5 fours are 20, here it comes 3. So as per the Euclid's division lemma. What was the equation for that? A is equal to BQ plus R. If I am going to write this example as Euclid's division lemma, I can write like 23 is equal to 5 multiplied by 4 plus 3. Let us take another example. Here I am taking 35 and 7. A is equal to 35, B is equal to 7. Let us divide 35 by divide by 7, 7 fives are 35. So, as per Euclid's division lemma, I can write 35 is equal to 7 multiplied by 5 plus 0. Now, another topic which comes after this is HCF. The full form of HCF is highest common factor and which you have already studied in previous classes. But let me give a small recap about HCF. So, to find the HCF of any two positive integer, we can use many methods. Here I am going to use prime factorization method. I am going to find the prime factors of 12 first. I have taken two integers 12 and 16. 
I am going to find the prime factorization, going to do the prime factorization of 12. In prime factorization, we are starting from a smallest prime factor which is 2 and 12 can be divisible by 2. So, let do so. So, here I have done the prime factorization of 12. Now, it is turned for 16. 16 can be also divisible by 2 first. Let do so. Right. I have got the prime factor for 16 as well. And if I am indicating the common factor 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4. So, 4 is the highest common factor for this. Now, our next topic is main topic is how to find the highest common factor by using Euclid's division lemma. So, for that you are having Euclid's division algorithm. Now, what is algorithm? So, algorithm is nothing but stepwise steps which you need to follow by solving some problem. So, suppose here I am going to explain you first by one example. Suppose we are having two positive integers 42 and 455. If I am going to apply Euclid's division lemma on this 42 and 455, I should indicate A as 455 and B as 42. Let us apply Euclid's division lemma on these two numbers. 455 divided by 42. 42 ones are 42, here it comes 35, 0. So, if I am going to write this whole procedure in Euclid's division equation, I can write like this. So, whatever divisor here I got divisor as 35 sorry as a 42 and remainder as 35. So, I am going to take 2 integer for the next step. Again I am applying Euclid's division lemma on this. Let us do the division as per the Euclid's division lemma 42 divided by 35, 35 ones are 35, 7 let us write this in the form of equation. So, it will come 42 is equal to 35 multiplied by 1 plus 7. Again, whatever the divisor I got 35 and remainder as 7, this 2 integer I am going to take for next step. Again, I am applying Euclid's division lemma on this 35 divided by 7, 7 is 35 and here it, I got remainder as 0. Let us write this in the form of equation. We can write 35 is equal to 7 multiplied by 5 plus 0. Here we got remainder as 0. So, this procedure you need to follow until unless you are getting the remainder as 0 or here we have remainder 0 mil gai hai. that means the HCF of our two integers that are 455 and 42 is 7. The divisor of the last step. Which step consider karna hai? Jahan pe aapko remainder 0 mili hai, wo step ka divisor jo hoga, wo aapka HCF hoga. So, this way you can find the HCF of any two positive integers by using Euclid's division lemma and for that you have been given the algorithm as Euclid's division algorithm. Right? So, here I am going to write Euclid's division algorithm. Step 1. Apply the Euclid's division lemma on any two integers c and d satisfying the equation c is equal to d q plus r. If r is equal to 0 then done, but if you are not getting remainder as 0, you need to follow the first step until unless you are getting the remainder 0 and as an answer you need to consider the divisor in the last step, jo step mein aapko remainder 0 mili hai, us step ka divisor hai, jo aapka HCF hoga 2 numbers ka. To, ye tha aapka Euclid's division algorithm to find the HCF of any two positive integer. So, my dear students, I hope you get what I have explained in this video, right? So, there are exercise, some of the sums given on the basis of this topic in your exercise, solve this. Thank you.